Hello guys, welcome to Flutter Notes app series. In this series, we'll be learning how to create a notes app in Flutter along with Firebase integration for user authentication and cloud storage. So if you're interested in learning, then do watch all the videos of this series. Now let's get started with the app. First of all, let us create a new Flutter app using the Flutter create command. Now we need to specify the app name that we want to create. In our case, it's the notes app. We can optionally pass the organization argument to specify the organization name while creating the project itself. So we can just specify it by using the org argument and followed by the name of your organization, if you like in our case. So now let's wait until the project is set up for us. Now let's change our directory to the notes app directory using the command cd which stands for change directory. Now let's open this project file in our favorite IDE Visual Studio Code. Now we can see that our project is set up for us. Now it's time to install the packages required for our project. So to install the packages or to get the required packages, we can head on over to the pub.developer website. The first package that we're going to use is a get package. This package is basically used to manage the state of the app and make the app more reactive. We will be making a separate detailed video on how to implement the get state management in Flutter app. To install the package, we can copy the command from the installation tab and run it in our command line. Now let's paste our code, copied code, and install the get package. The second package that we are going to use in our project is shared preferences. Shared preferences package is used to save data in the form of string, int, bool, etc. without setting up any database. To install shared preferences, we can get the command from the installation tab. Let's copy the command and paste it once again. The next package that we are going to use is a Google Fonts package. This package helps us to add different font styles in our app. To install this package, we are going to follow the same step as we have followed before. Now we have successfully installed all the basic packages that are required by our project. Now let's run our iOS simulator and launch this notes app in debug mode. So let's minimize the screen so that we can uh, see both the screens. So now we can have our VS Code on one side and our app running on another side. Now we can see that our app is up and running. We have the basic incremental app that is provided as a base project when creating the Flutter app. Now one main thing in setting up any project is organizing files and folders. So now let's create some folders in the lib directory of our project to manage different files. The first directory that we are going to use or that we are going to create is called controllers. The controllers directory is used to store the logical part of the app. The next directory that we require in our project is pages. So the pages directory contains all the different pages that are used in the app. The next folder that we may require is the constant folder. The constant folder is used to store different constants for setting files that are required for our project. The next directory is the widgets directory which is used to store the custom widgets that has been created especially for this app. The next folder that we are going to create is called as models. 
So the model directory is used to store all the models that are required by the app. The next directory we may require is services. So the services directory is used to manage the third party services like Firebase, AdMob, etc. and make our work easier. Now let's set up the theme for our app. So in order to set up the theme for our app, we are going to create a new file inside the constant folder called the theme constant. Let's create a class called theme constant to store all the theme data that is required by our app. Now, now we require two variables to store the theme. There is one theme is for the light and the other theme is for the dark. So now we are going to create a new theme data which is data dot light. So we are not getting we are getting an error over here. That is due to we have not imported any packages for the theme. So the theme comes from the material package. So if we just import it we can get the theme data and from the theme we can get the light method. So now we are going to add a function that is copy with to change some settings as required. So now we require the primary color to be the custom color. So the color font is FF, AE and 00. So this is the color font that we are going to use in our app as a primary one. So for the background color, we are going to use the white for the light theme and black for the dark theme. So now let's replicate this. And don't forget to add the const modifier for these colors. So now we are set up with the basic primary and the background color and the next thing is need to set the text theme that is we are going to use the font of Roboto from the Google fonts. So next we have text theme and we are going to use Google fonts dot Google fonts and we are going to use the Roboto text theme. And the same way we are going to use uh, the same thing for the dark mode as well. Now we are done with the basic setup of theme for our app. Now let's delete all the unnecessary code and add getx into our project. We don't require the home page stateful widget as well as for now, so we can delete it. Now let's replace this home page with a scaffold. For now, and let's so hot restart it. And now we can see that we have a blank space. So, in order to remove this banner of debug, we can just pass show debug check mode banner to false, and we can just remove that banner. And let's uh, rename the app as Flutter Notes app. and for now, we'll just specify the theme data to be uh, light theme. And in the upcoming videos, we'll be showing you how you can implement uh, the theme that is the dark theme and light theme, and how we can change the theme on based on the click of and button. So now, to implement GetX in our project, we need to replace the material app with the Get Material app widget. Which is available from the package get.dart. So now, if we just hot restart the application, we can get the instance of get material controller has been created. This indicates that our app is set up successfully using getx state management. Now, let's add the Firebase support to our app. Let's create a new Firebase project and name it as Flutter notes app and now let's wait until our project is set up
now our project is ready just click on continue now let's add a uh, android app support as well as ios app support so now the firebase has released a new feature where we can directly implement the flutter app using the flutter fire cli now let's see the steps required to implement Firebase directly into our Flutter app. Before we continue, we need to have the Firebase CLI installed in our system and the Firebase need to be logged in. And we need to have the Flutter SDK and we should have been created a new Flutter project. So let's head on to the next section. So now from the directory run this command. So just copy the command. And from the directory from where you have created the application, just run this command. Let's copy the command and click on enter. So now we can see it's running its auto script and we can see that the flutter file is activated. So now let's head on to the next section and then at the root of the flutter project directory, run this command. So just copy this command once again and run this command in the command line. Let's paste it. So it's fetching our available projects from the Firebase. And it's asking us which platform should, you con should your configuration support. By default, it's selected for Android, iOS, macOS, and web. If you want to remove any of the settings, you can just uh, click on, select the option and click on space. So I'm just selecting all the options and just click on enter to confirm. The files Android build.gradle and Android app.gradle will be updated to apply Firebase configurations and Gradle build plugins. Do you want to continue? Click on yes, then just tap enter and your project is set up. So now if we just click on the next, we can just initialize. So initialize Firebase and add plugins. So before adding any of the Firebase settings, we need to uh, install three more packages that is required by our app in order to communicate with the firebase the first package that we're going to install now is the firebase core package let's install this just copy the command and paste it let's paste the command over here and let's wait until the firebase core is installed the next package that we're going to install is the firebase all which is used to implement the authentication using firebase so let's install this package as well the next package that we are going to install is the cloud firestorm this package is used for our app to communicate with the firebase database so let's install this package as well Now we have installed all the required packages for our Firebase support. Now let's complete the final step as mentioned in the adding Firebase to your Flutter app. To initialize Firebase, call Firebase or initialize app from Firebase core package with the configuration from your new Firebase options dot file. So just copy, you can just copy this code from here. In our project, we can just run, paste it over here, followed by the async. So let's install or uh, import the Firebase core package as well as the Firebase options dot dot file that has been created by uh, created in our project. The next thing to implement is the widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize so that we make sure that everything is initialized before calling these functions. Now, since we have installed some packages, in order the app to run properly, we need to restart the app. That is, we need to close the app and rerun it once again. So let's rerun, that is start debug, and let's wait until our app is launched once again.
if you encounter the same error as we have encountered you can just go into your ios build folder and inside the pod file change the setting to ios 15.5 and then run the pod install inside the ios directory once done your app will be successfully built so now let's run this app once again and let's wait until the app finishes running now we can see that our app has been built once again to confirm let's just add a new widget and we can just display in the center we can just display the child as text and let's say as notes app and let's save this so we can see the notes app has been displayed so we can see that our app is running successfully now we have successfully built a flutter app and integrated firebase in our first attempt in our next video we will be learning how to implement user authentication using firebase auth services in our app Thank you for watching this video.